restrain the patient. Prepare for mermaid life. for procedure. He's all yours, Doc. Thank you. This won't hurt a bit. In fact, you won't remember a goddamn thing. <laughs> yes, now then. Mind, boys? Code 4 security breach. 
So, Ratcher, looks like I'm your wingman today. You better be sharp up there, Janet. Your old man wants me to go full bore. Hope you can keep up. Hey, I'll be right on your ass. Yeah? We'll see about that. You know, you're a fortunate man. Getting to fly the new X-77. Wish it was me up in that cockpit instead of flying the chase plane. Luck of the draw. Yeah, well, someday I'll get my shot. You good to go? See you 20,000 feet. Colonel Ratcher, General Barnes would like to see you. The X-77's ready to fly, General. Good. I want to be sure the active stealth system is fully functional. Sir, the shakedown isn't scheduled till next week, so why Insurance! Are we... This little rehearsal will see me retire with a third star on my shoulder. Now listen, this flight is off the record. I want you to put that plane through its paces, Ratcher. We'll be tracking your progress in command ops. Mission countdown in 20 minutes, sir. Oh, don't let me down, Ratcher. I want to see that plane disappear as promised. You got my word on that, sir. to control, reaching cruising altitude. F-16, confirming position of X-77. I have visual contact. Request permission to engage active cell. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Control, confirming active stealth. 
It's amazing. She's just gone. Uh, great. Good job, guys. Okay, Ratcher. Disengage active stealth. Disengaging. All right, let's move to the next phase. Ratcher, take her to the second floor and re-engage. Roger. You're just having too much fun out there. You better believe it, baby. All right, Janik. War game's commencing. Try and catch me now. Hatcher, I'm right on your team. Couldn't even see him. Good. Shut her down and bring her home. Ratcher? Yeah, like, do you have a visual? Uh, negative, sir. Still no contact. We just lost a $75 million plane. Nothing happened up there, sir. She just disappeared. Just following orders. At least we know she works, right? We've got to get it back. And there's only one man I know who can do that. That'll be $2.10. Don't.
please, put your hands up. He's the only one alive. Uh -huh. Okay, pay back the security tape. He'll see you with self-defense. Let's go. Let's get out of here, guys. Well, give me some coffee. Hey, Saunders, get your fat ass into a cruiser. Yes, sir. But better still, why don't you actually get out of the car once in a while? Walk the streets, and maybe assholes like this won't get out of the press. We will. What do we got? Can't get no prints off this guy. He's not in any of our data banks. And to make things worse, he, he ain't exactly talking. Then we have nothing. Well, we could book him for stealing a car. Come on, man, it's not about stealing a car. He was not involved in that robbery. It was a self-defense. So that's it, he walks? Been holding for 24 hours. Here. Get this over to the feds. This guy's extraordinary. He's unlike anything I've ever seen. We may not know who he is, but I bet they do. Your coffee, sir. I don't drink coffee. Colonel Ratcher requesting permission to enter airspace. Sir. Well? What do you think? Bring it to the bond. No, no, you know, I'm happy to talk. And tell us. Just a country boy. Who's your employer? I'm self-employed right now. So what is it you do? Well, uh, I, uh, I travel a lot. I've seen you fighting, John. That's no ordinary fighting. I grew up in a bad neighborhood. Sure. There used to be something called self-defense, but... Seems like when you defend yourself, if you do it too good, you get into trouble. Tell me why we have no proof that you're in active military. Let's just see what the feds have to say about that. I'm in a talkative mood, so I love to meet the feds and talk to them. Let's just see what General Barnes has to say about that. General Barnes, Lord have mercy, he's coming here. Is he a friend of yours, John? Well, I wouldn't say he's a friend of mine, but I met him once. Yeah, it was a long time ago, you know? Team in the air. I want ground support for the stealth retrieval. This is Ranger Team Baker One. C-130 prepped and ready for takeoff. C-130 airborne. On course to target. ETA three out. General, 
I wasn't expecting this kind of response. You don't know who you're dealing with. John. Long time no see. Thank you, Detective. We still have no proof that he's active military. Oh, I don't think you need to worry about that. I'll give you plenty of proof. Another day, another fucking surprise. John, I had no part in what they tried to do. It was stupid. You were right to do what you did. I don't take kindly to having my memory wiped. I don't know if it was right or not, but uh, all I did was follow orders. It's a little bizarre to get punished for shit like that, ain't it? Yeah. But you know a lot of things that make a lot of people nervous. I'm not the only one. What do you want to do? One of our test pilots stole a plane. And it's got technology that scares even the shit out of us. You get it back for us, and I guarantee you'll be a free man. I'm supposed to believe that? John, it's me. Well, it's not really you I'm worried about. It's kind of the people you work for. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of them. Well, I will be worried about it, but I suppose I don't have much of a choice, so, uh... Let's give it a shot. Navy SEAL Team on course. We have a lock on stealth position. ETA, two hours. Ground support for air mission will be in place. Got your back. Okay, John, here's the deal. The X-77 is a top-secret experimental aircraft based on the F-117 stealth fighter. Stealth was achieved by shrinking the geometric cross-section of the plane and adding radar-absorbing materials to cut down reflectivity. The X-77 adds something new, an active stealth system. It's done with an electromagnetic pulse, effectively blankets the plane. It's a completely invisible aircraft. That's amazing. But what's even more amazing is who took it. We lost it to Ratcher. He stole the plane. I don't know who paid him, but whatever they paid him, it will be a dump truck full of cash. I don't know what to say, sir. I know you two go back a long way together, and next to you, Ratcher is probably the best stealth pilot in the world. Well, as you know, him and I go way back. I trained him. Yes. We've both flown stealth extensively, so. He's in Afghanistan. We'll have a six-man team on the ground to back you up. But you've got to get in there, and you've got to get me that plane back. Hell yeah. And once you get it up in the sky, you know they'll be shooting at you, and you're gonna have to do some fancy dancing. Get me briefed, and I'll get up and get going. Okay. The X-77 can fly into enemy airspace at supersonic speeds, drop missiles and smart bombs with pinpoint accuracy, and come out completely undetected. It's the ultimate weapon. But active stealth is a huge drain on the 77's power supply, so Ratcher would have had to turn off the active stealth and return to passive stealth. That's how we spotted him. Satellite picked him up here, over the Bondon Islands, heading due west at 28 degrees north latitude. He maintained that heading until the satellite orbited out of range. Where exactly is the bird now? Satellite picked him up Right here, this morning. That's not going to be fun to get in out of there. You got 72 hours. 72 hours? I couldn't pick my man, plan the op. I couldn't even get in there. You can in a Blackbird. Now, I got a Wizzo who knows the Blackbird inside and out. This kid is one of the hottest pilots I've ever seen. Who's that, sir? Name's Rick Janik. He's your backup. If it's okay with you, sir, I'd rather not fly with him. Uh, he's a little bit of a... Acrobat and a showman, but no combat experience. John, I got you out of jail because I thought you were the best shot we had getting this plane back. Yeah, but... I don't give a damn what you think. Janik's my choice for backup. He's on the mission. Understood? Yes, sir. B-130 on course and on schedule. Position 38 degrees west, 27 Thank degrees you, north. Navy SEALs are locked and loaded and ready to jump. So, uh, 
when are wheels up? Hell no. I gotta get up in the sky with this guy. You gotta be kidding me. How old are you now? Oh, I'm drinking age, sir. Mm. Drinking age, sir. Okay, guys, let's go. You'll fly into a friendly base 100 miles south of where they stashed the 77. There you'll be met by a couple of SF folks who provide you with a ride, weapons, and intel. Do you have any assets on the ground, sir? We've got the Colonel's asset, Jessica. She'll join you for the push into the terrorist compound. There you'll grab the 77 and jump up. If you can't jump up, you blow it up. And everybody who's seen it. You have my word on that, sir. Okay, guys. Let's suit up. up to 80,000 feet and stay off everybody's radar. Roger that, sir. You brought my plane. You bring my money. 
A man with priorities. I like that. A little spending cash. 100 million will be sent to your numbered account. Well, you want to double that? What you got in mind? Okay, SEALs, you're go for insertion. Better watch your step. This is Ranger Team Baker 1. Secure on the ground and waiting for SR-71. SR-71, this is Control. Refuel at heading point 02. SR-71 going in for refueling. Activity on the radar? Uh, negative. We're not on anyone's radar for now. Take us directly over North Korea and Vietnam. Taking us over North Korean airspace. to set down and abandon the plane. We've got a jeep waiting for you in a hangar. It's all fueled up and ready to go. Roger that. Janik's your partner on this one, John. He drives in with you, he's your backup, and if needed, he's your replacement. If you fail, I want another pilot standing by. Roger that.
Sanders, get me Admiral Pendleton on the Crichton Davies. Sir, we have a secure call coming in from a General Barnes. Patching through. What's the occasion, Tom? I'm sending a couple of guys into bandit country. Well, I don't remember. You owe me a bottle of scotch from the last game of golf we played. Can I get an assist from the 4th Fleet? I've received no intel about an operation. One of my planes is missing. Where? Northern Afghanistan. Jesus Christ, Tom. That's a shooting gallery up there. I mean, we'd, we'd have to skirt the no-fly zone. That's worth at least two bottles of scotch. You make it single mom. Help me get my plane back and I'll buy you a whole goddamn case. Copy that. Have Commander Jackson Air Group report to me. Yes, sir. Where's my SEAL team? I got no communication. I'm starting to get hinky. John. Admiral Pendleton's assembling a strike force to assist. That's not gonna be necessary, sir. We're on the ground. We got orders, and we're gonna follow. We're gonna have a tight decision cycle here, John. If you can't get that plane out in 24 hours, we're gonna have to go in and dust down the entire area. I know. We got 24 hours and 47 minutes before you send in the strike team. I understand that, and believe me, we got the bunker factor. Okay, guys, good luck. Sir, do you want to explore more options? No, if we wait longer than 24 hours, they'll have to amount a first strike. Look, the X-77 throws the ball in their court. Some very bad news. What? The American soldiers? Yeah, the Navy SEAL. Dead. Shit. Every single one of them. Ambushed in the night by Liana soldiers. Well, what about John and Janik? I don't know. There is no news of them. If they are safe, nobody is with them. They are all alone. No, they have us. <laughs> you want me to go to the rendezvous point? No. It's it's too dangerous. Look, John knows where to find me, okay? According to the agency, this region over here is run by the Black Sunday terrorist group. With a weapon like this in their hands. Okay, I want everything the agency's got on these bastards. Yes, sir. That's the landing strip and a small village, and we're here. All right, why don't you uh, hide this jeep, and I'm going to see if I can find a sign of the seal to this here.
Scouts reported movement somewhere around here. You three stay here. يلا طفي السيارة طياتكم من هنا شوف كان السيارة مخبية هنا خلقنا جيب مكوسة Check on the others. Okay. What do we have here? Looks like a pilot. Captain Richard Janik, United States Air Force, 691-495-213. Why don't you just tell me where your plane is? Why don't you kiss my ass? I'll kill you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Move! Go on! Sir, for you. Eliana. We found a pilot. An American. Another man escaped. Bring me the pilot. Don't say a fucking word. No response from radio calls? None at all, sir. Get me Barnes and Edwards. Go ahead, sir. This is Admiral Pendleton, U.S. Navy. I'll inform General Barnes. Sir, 
We've lost radio contact with them. Well, well, do something else. Try something. Try Morse code. Set up smoke signals. I don't care. Do something. Good afternoon. So glad you could make it. My name is Stone. And you are? Screw you. Your identification tags say you are Richard Janet. A captain in the United States Air Force. Yeah, you got my name, my rank, my ID number. There's nothing else I can tell you. Are there any more surprise guests coming? Yeah. The Air Force. Delivering a half ton of ordnance on this hell hole. Seen what the new smart bombs can do? Yes, I have. Quite impressive. In fact, I'd like to use this plane of yours to help to deliver a couple of smart bombs of our own. But first, I have one more question to ask you about this other pilot. Who is he? Tell me when you're ready to answer. Or maybe we should do this in a more civilized manner. He's not going to give him up. Probably right. I'll put base on high alert. Go ahead. You want to see me, Admiral? But I want you to ready a squadron, long range op. Another training exercise? I'm afraid not. This might be the real thing. Who you got? Well, I can have Hinkle and his team on standby. Where are they flying, sir? That's restricted airspace. What's it all about? Need to know bases, Commander. I can't tell you this time, but You get your orders in due course. With all due respect, Admiral, you can drive this flat top any way you please. But once those aircraft leave the deck, they're my responsibility. I'm not gonna put my pilots in harm's way without written orders. You'll have your written orders, Commander.
still fine as hell, ain't you now? Jesus, John. I was expecting you a little later. God, I missed you. I missed you, too. I miss it, Dad. Now, right about now, I'd love to be doing something fun with you, but... <laughs> Shit's a little bit sideways around here. What do you know? John, I have some bad news. Over there. Sir, we've got a problem. One of my men's been taken down. I'm gonna need some help searching the village. It's gotta be him. I'll take care of it. Please! Wait a minute, let me dress. Open the door. Wait! He said open the door now. What do you want? I'm looking for an American. Captured one already. He killed a member of my patrol. I find that hard to believe. We suspect he's an American spy. He's not here. You've had men here before, haven't you? Tell me what you're really looking for. Go on, get out. Keep an eye on her. That was quick. Fuck you. Eleven hours and 52 minutes left. Should be back by now. Sir. Are we really going to destroy a $75 million warplane if John fails? We have no choice. General Barnes for you, sir. Secure line. Don't catch this crew. Yes, Tom. Frank, have you been able to reestablish radio contact with my guys yet? Nothing. It's been 12 hours. Uh, I can have a squadron from the carrier. We'll fly over. No, 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 no. If we have to send in search and rescue, we'll have to tell them about the plane. I can't risk that. I understand. And I'm not spooking the terrorists into moving the plane, either. If my guys can't get it, we're going to have to destroy it and everything in the region. The garbage, huh? Still no radio contact? None, sir. Peter Stone, British father, Muslim mother, spent his childhood in the Middle East but educated at Oxford. Mother was killed in the US attack during Desert Storm, and as a result, he started financing terrorist groups and later formed the Black Sunday group. Which brings us to. Eliana Reed, second in command of Black Sunday. She trained with various guerrilla groups in the region, giving Stone the foundation he needs. Three years ago, Stone negotiated his way into a major arms deal, which was brokered by Ms. Reed. You're wasting your time. I ain't talking. See, the funny thing about biological warfare is you don't really know what's hit you until it's too late. Can you imagine? Football pitches, rock concerts, playgrounds, schoolyards, all those people. Imagine how quickly that would spread. At first, you'd probably think it was just food poisoning. Within 12 hours, they'd all be dead. Think how much damage one bomb could do. And I've got two. One for Europe, and one for the United States of America your plane to deliver them undetected. 
Well, who's gonna fly for you, huh? Hey, Rick. How's my old buddy, John? Can't believe you're doing this. Hey. The price was right. We fly at dawn, fuel the planes. What's the bad news? The SEAL team's been taken out, and they got Janik. Holy shit. Home base is gonna ask me to abort the op and call me back. So what do we do? Over here. This is the area photographs of the airstrip, okay? In this hangar over here is where they are hiding the beach. I think I could steal her. I really do. What's security like there? Well, there's 60 multinational mercenaries heavily armed. Okay, well, I see you got my tools here. If we get into the hangar, we're not gonna be able to use any guns. Perimeter looks like about 250 feet out, right here with these outbuildings. This is definitely the point of least resistance. Definitely. Get inside this hangar where she is. Can't use any guns, only knives. We all know how to use knives. Take everybody out there, jump in the bitch and fly her out, man. It's possible. If we can't do that, we blow her up and get out. Well, how are you lead us in? Okay, I pick you up at dawn. But once we get within one mile of the perimeter, that is when we have to be on high alert. That is where there may be some checkpoints. So what do we do when we get to a checkpoint? We cut off their testicles. Or we teach them how to sing soprano. Admiral? Commander. We just had confirmation from our eye in the sky. The SEAL team they sent down didn't make it. 100% casualties. Oh, God. I think it's time we let some hellfire loose on these bastards. No, 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 not yet. We still have people on the ground. They've been out of radio contact for 22 hours. They probably bought it, too. We don't know that. We can't jeopardize them. And the chance to get this damn plane back. What, two guys against a whole army? <laughs> the odds are stacked against them. Maybe so, but I still have my orders. We've got to give it a last shot. I don't mean to second guess you, Admiral. But we know where that plane is right now. I say we cut our losses and take it out. Once it's on the move again, we've got no way of tracking it. Game over. No, no, we wait. Over there. When can you be up in the air? A couple hours. Program the coordinates into the computer and set up the GPS with the waypoints. Good. Do it. Boss, you're going to have to pull over soon. We're going to be there very shortly.
Cop! Get out of the car! Your papers, please. Sora, 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 yalla! Oh, I know you want my papers, right? Okay, boss, we're getting very close now. You're going to have to pull over and we're going to have to finish this on foot. I don't know what you're up to, Admiral, but if this goes wrong, both of our asses are on the line. You want to level with me? Fair enough. An Air Force plane's gone missing. Stolen by one of their own jet jocks. So let the Air Force get it back. This isn't just any ordinary plane, bud. It's the next generation stealth. Now that technology falls in the wrong hands, Looks we have like a... it already did. I've never known you back out of a good fight, bud. Let's throw the damn rule book away. Oh, what the hell. You got four planes up on the flight deck. Fueled, armed, ready to go. Outstanding, Commander. Two hours left on the clock, sir. Is the Crichton Davies in position and the strike team ready? Admiral Pendleton is giving the wing commander's final briefing. Okay. Captain Hinkle reporting, sir. Squadron ready, Admiral. Locked and loaded. What's the mission? Lieutenant. Sir. Oh, shit. You gotta hit that with every piece of ordnance you have. Burn it all. Take out the hangar landing strip the goddamn outhouse. There better not be a rat left crawling when you've finished. Aye, sir. Dismissed. Sir, what if John and Janik are still near you when the strike team arrives? If they get my plane back, I'll call off the strike. What if they don't? Sir! Americans are entering our airspace. No. The 
system is disabled. The EX-77 must be in that hangar over there. Shit. There is an F-16 there, too. We can't buy them both out of here. No, we don't care about the other plane. Janik's in that hangar right up in there. Do you need him to fly the other plane? I don't care about the other plane. I just can't leave him behind. So, in other words, he's your friend? Yeah, but he's an asshole. Three diversions, simultaneous. Three diversions. You got it, boss. Let's party. Babe, let me come with you. Like I told you, I saw it. Right. We've got company. You two stay here. Yes, sir. Been a security breach on the south side of primitive fence. Someone's cut a bloody hole in it. Get on to it. I'm on it. Primitive semi clear. Jennings in that building right there. I'm gonna get him, get in that plane and get out of here, you ready? Yeah, I got your back. Don't move! Don't move. You didn't have to come back, John. Should have just taken the plane in jail. It's kind of not my style to leave people behind. Grab the 47 and watch the door. Listen, I need cover fire. Can you fly? Shit, yeah. You can fly. I need some cover fire out of here, and then you get up and help. John, rats are just one of them. Yeah, I know.
Jessica. Settle this. Make sure there's no gunfire around the plane. That all of it? For now. Yes, it is. You sure? I've initiated the wire transfer. Fly the goddamn... Blade! You guys just don't quit, do you? What the hell are you doing here? I'm getting rich. You know how much I'm getting paid for this? Two hundred million dollars free and clear. But this is treason. Treason? Open your eyes. You've been brainwashed by those flag wavers at the Air Force. Making money is the American way. Bullshit. <laughs> it's all bullshit. But that's not how it works. You know that. Drop it. Next time. 
People looked up to you, Ratchet, including me. Who asked you? I didn't. Fuck you. Kiss my bitch, man! Don't train. Move. How long before Pendleton's planes arrive over the target? Strike Force, this is Edwards. What is your ETA? ETA to target is less than five minutes. Less than five minutes, sir. John, long time no see. You know, I would be ashamed of you, but uh, I don't think you deserve my shame. But I trained you for this, man. Shit. I could train you. I got the skills. Mm-hmm. What's this about money? Uncle Sam didn't get enough money? <laughs> Your mama didn't get enough money? I look around you, John. We got French. Italians, Russians. We're just a bunch of fucking mercenaries out to make a big hit. Unfortunately, you ain't gonna get no big hit. I wish I had the time to whoop your ass and then shoot you, but I got to go. Make him fly the plane. If it makes one fall from the little, shoot him. And when you shoot him, don't ruin your own plane so you can get back home. Open this door, make him lie down. Right back there. Time for rodeo. Buckle up.
Move your ass. They're gonna carpet bomb this area any minute now. I'll take my chances. Get in the fucking plane! <laughs> John, come in, John. This is John. Go ahead, Janik. I'm sorry, buddy. But I didn't make it. Where is Ratcher? He's in the F-16. Don't worry about him. I'll take care of him. You go get him for me. Roger that, brother. Base, this is bad mojo. Come in. Base, this is bad mojo. Yes, John. We've got the package, sir. What took you so long? Had to jumpstart my camel, sir. We've got some hazardous material on the plane. It's an NBC bomb. We're gonna have to be very, very careful. Can you fly the plane safely back to Edwards so we can disarm the bombs? Yes, sir. How's Janik? Uh, Janik is no longer with us. Damn. I'm sorry to hear that. Roger that, sir. So who's flying the 16? It's Roger. Son of a bitch. Request permission to deal with that, sir. I don't give a damn what you want, John. But if he shoots you down, it'll be the same as dropping the bombs. Roger that, sir. is shot down over Europe, the disease will spread like this. 12 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. Holy shit. That's what we're up against. This is the naval or Air Force matter. This is global. Oh, damn, Captain Kabul. Tricks, John. That's all they are. I can outfly you in a school bus. I've still got a few on my sleeve. You might learn something yet. Why fly against each other when we can fly together? Come on, John. We're talking millions of dollars here. Well, what do you care about those people down there? 
From up here, they're nothing. Sorry, no deal. I'm the one who's sorry. We could have shared the money. I'm not for sale. Engaging active stealth. I don't have to see you, John. I just have to predict where you'll go. That ramskin on your wings is pretty fragile stuff. One well-placed hit might bring the whole plane down. Sir. Copy that. Okay, guys. Great work. Let's bring him home. Well done, everybody. Mission accomplished. Go, Navy! Huh? Yeah! Right back to your posts. Thanks for putting yourself out on a limb for me, bud. Well, you had a peg right, Admiral. <laughs> About saving the human race from destruction? Hell no. About my not being able to resist the chance to kick some ass. <laughs> Get me, Barnes! I wonder if this would have anything to do with a case of whiskey, sir. What's that to you, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Back in one piece, John. Now that I'm not in the military anymore, I don't have to salute you. I won't miss your salute, Colonel. And I'll miss you, John. All right. Let's go. Cool. 